the next point. We should ensure that whatever we see is clear. That means work is being done and we can see that it is in opposite direction. Good day, learners and listeners at home. Once again, you are welcome to another e-learning. And the lesson we are taking today is agricultural science. I still remain Thomas Peter. And the topic we are seeing today is apiculture or beekeeping. I take it again, apiculture or beekeeping. In the course of this topic, we shall see the definition of apiculture or beekeeping. Two, we shall discuss the types of bees. Three, method of beekeeping. Four, cast or classes of bees. Five, Precautionary measures in beekeeping and importance of beekeeping. But before we go into the topic proper, I want us to see how graduates are turned out every year by our secondary schools and higher institutions. They have no employment. But in the course of this lesson, after you listen to the techniques involved in beekeeping, you will consider yourself self-employed. Now, the definition. Apiculture or beekeeping is the science of domesticating or rearing of insect bees for the purpose of producing honey, beeswax, and royal jelly for consumption or for sale. I take it again. Apiculture or beekeeping is the science of domesticating or rearing of insect bees for the purpose of producing honey, beeswax, and royal jelly for consumption or for sale. Farmers that keep bees are referred to apiaries. Well, the location where bees are kept or reared is called apiary or bee yard. Types of bees. There are two major types of bees. Namely, one, indigenous bees and two, exotic bees. We shall discuss these types of bees one after the other. Then one is the indigenous bees. They are those local bees commonly found in our local environment, which are mostly of Africa origin. They have the following Futures or characteristics. One, smaller body size. Two, low productive ability. Three, lower growth rates. And four, lower honey and waxed production. My listeners and learners at home, because of these characteristics possessed by the indigenous bees, they are not very economical in terms of commercial production of honey and wax. Typical example of indigenous bees are the African black bees. Then the second one is exotic bees. These are the imported bees from other countries to Africa, which can be interbred to produce hybrids with desirable qualities. 
And what are those desirable qualities possessed by these exotic breeds? One, they are disease resistance. Two, they are parasite resistance. Three, they have good honey production. And four, they are highly prolific. This means they can produce as much as possible. Examples of exotic bees are West, Western honey bee, botanically known as Apis mellifera. Two, we have the Italian bee, scientifically known as Apis mellifera linguistica. Then three, Mediterranean bee which is Apis Serena. <music> Method of beekeeping. There are two major methods involved. One, traditional methods, and two, modern methods. We shall discuss these methods one after the other. Traditional methods of beekeeping. This method allowed honeybees to remain in their natural habitats, like the hollows that holes in caves, thermal hills, and rock piles, which are dried and protected from wind and sunlight. The management of this method is very low, as the bees are left to fend for themselves. To gather or harvest honey from these wild bees, you need to subdue the bees with smokers which produces smoke and then break open the rock of or three holes where the colony is located. The nest built by the bees is usually destroyed physically. It should be noted here that production of honey under this method is extremely very, very low. Modern beekeeping methods. This is the method commonly used in today's apiculture. Using exotic or imported breeds of bees which ensure high productions of honey and its products. Wooden frames known as hives with big hollows prepared by the apiarists in which the bees are forced to build straight combs in the wooden frame by fixing pieces of wax called foundation, of which the bases of the cells are already embedded, and the bees use these bases to build their honeycombs as the aspiris or beekeeper wants. Harvesting of honey under this method is done by placing a comb full of honey in a force machine called extractor. After the honey is extracted or harvested, the honeycomb is returned intact back into the hive to save the bees the trouble and time of building new combs. This will enhance high quantity production of honey. Casts or classes of bees. We know that bees are social insects. So there is what we call division of labor. Every class of bees are doing their duties. But at the end of the day, they will achieve a particular aim. And that particular aim they are aiming to achieve is to produce honey. So a colony of bees is made up of three class or classes, which are as follows. Queen bee, two, Female worker bees. And three, drones. 
We shall discuss these classes of bees one after the other. The queen bee. This is the only sexually mature female bee in the hive, which gives rise to female worker bees and the male drones. The queen bee can live for three to four years, which can lay up to half a million eggs in her lifetime. The queen bee produces queen substance known as pheromones and spread it to the other female worker bees so as to suppress the development of their ovaries to prevent them from laying eggs. Female worker bees. As the name implies, they are worker bees which are involved in the following duties. One, building new combs. Two, looking for food or nectar. Three, feeding the young ones. Four, and feeding the queen also. Then lastly, they are numbered close to 40 to 50,000 in their lifetime. I mean, their lifetime is one to six weeks. And they are numbered 40 to 50,000 in number. The drones. Drones are twice the size of the female worker bees, but not all to the size of the queen bee. They have no known function except to mate the new queens and fertilize them on their mating flights. Precautionary measures in beekeeping. Some precautionary measures need to be taken to prevent hazards, especially during the management and harvesting of honey. These measures include the following. One. Locating of apiaries or bee yards far from human dwellings. This is to ensure that bees do not sting people and honey production should not be disturbed because bees like quiet environment and hate noise. Two, putting warning symbols near apiaries or bee yards. Beekeepers should place warning signals at strategic location, few distance from their apiaries, so as to ensure people do not run into bees that can sting them. Three, wearing of protective devices. Beekeepers or apiaries often wear protective devices to protect themselves from bee stings. These protective devices include good quality beekeeping suit, hand gloves, hat or helmet, goggles, veil to cover the face. Four, uses of smokers. This is another precautionary measure. Beekeepers always use smokers during the management of the colony, including harvesting of honey. A smoker is a device designed to generate smoke from the incomplete combustion of various foil. Note here, my listeners and learners at home, that smoke can be an initiate feeding response in anticipation of possible have abandonment due to fire. The smoke causes confusion, which then creates an opportunity for the beekeeper to open the hive and extract or remove the honey without any disturbances from the honey bees. Importance of beekeeping. The importance of beekeeping cannot be overemphasized because it has been discovered to play the following significance in the economic development of Nigeria. One, it generates income for the apiaris or beekeeper. Two, 
They provide food as honey is eaten to provide protein and other nutrients. Three, it generates employment which provides income. Four, it provides raw materials for cosmetic industries. Five, it helps in the production of wax, which is used in the production of candles. Six, honey produce is used for medicinal purposes. Because in the production of cup syrup, honey is involved and other drugs. Seven, bees are used for productions of crops because bees are practically involved in pollination, which give rise to seed and fruit. Farmers rent honeybees colonies from beekeepers to pollinate their crops and pay the beekeeper millions of money. My dear students and listeners at home, this marks the end of the lesson. But before we go, let us see, let us review briefly what we have seen today. We gave the definition of apiculture or beekeeping, in which we say, we said that bees are domesticated or real for the purpose of production of honey, wax, jelly, uh, royal jelly for commercial purposes or consumption. We also discuss the types of bees in which I identify two. I said we have the indigenous bees and the exotic bees. We say the indigenous bees are the ones we found commonly in our environment. And we trace their characteristics. They have small body size, low productive ability, low growth rates, lower honey and wax production. But in the exotic bees or imported bees, they have different characteristics better than the local ones. They are disease resistance, parasite resistance, good honey production, and prolification. I gave examples of exotic bee, bees as Western honey bees, Italian bee, and Mediterranean bee. And we have the methods of beekeeping. I remember we discussed two. I said we have the traditional methods and the modern methods. We discussed the traditional method as the bees are, remain, are left to remain in their natural habitat. And what are these natural habitats of the bees? We have holes in caves, termites, hills, and rock piles, which are dried and protected from wind and sunlight. My listeners and learners at home, I told you the management of this method is very, very low in terms of honey production. We also discuss the modern beekeeping. We say this is the method commonly used today. Using imported bees. And we ensure there is a high production of honey. Wooden frames here are used as herbs. With big hollows prepared by the apiaries or beekeeper. Then which are forced to build straight combs in the wooden frame by fixing pieces of wax called foundation. The bees will use 
these bases of the cell, which are already embedded, and use them to build their honeycombs as the apiaries or as the beekeeper wants. To gather or harvest honey from these wild bees, you need to subdue the bees with smokers, which produce smoke, and then break open the rock or three holes where the colony is located. The nest built by the bees is usually destroyed physically. It should be noted here that production of honey is extremely low in these local methods. Cast or classes of bees. I say a colony of bees is made up of three castes. We say the queen bee, the female worker bees, and the drones. Then we discuss all of this one. I told you the precautionary measures to be taken in beekeeping. And those precautionary measures are one, place warning signals close to where bees are so that to avoid stings by bees to whoever that will go there. Put in uh, wearing of protective devices. I told you there are, uh, there are protective devices to wear so that you protect yourself because as you are removing the honey, the bees are coming to resist by stinging you. These protective devices include good quality beekeeping suit, hand gloves, hat or helmets, goggles, and a veil to cover your face. The important thing here in beekeeping is use of smokers. Because beekeepers always use smokers during the management of the colony, including harvesting of honey. I told you, a smoker is a device designed to generate smoke from the incomplete combustion of various foils. I want you to note here that smoke can be an initiate feeding response. So the moment you start smoking the bees, in anticipation, they will start feeding on that honey because they believe they will abandon the hives. So this makes the bees to be subdued and you remove the honey very, very easy. I also told you the importance of beekeeping. I say generating come for the apiaries of the beekeeper. It provides food as honey is eaten to provide protein. It generates pro uh, employment, which provides income. It provides raw materials for domestic, in, uh, domestic industries. Bees are used for production of crops because bees are practically involved in pollination, which give rise to seed and fruit. Farmers rent honeybees, colonies, from beekeepers to pollinate their crops, and they pay millions to these beekeepers. Thank you, my dear listeners and students at home, for your patience to listen. But before we go, I want to leave you with an assignment. Question number one. Define apiculture and list the types of bees you know. Define apiculture and list the types of bees you know. Two, explain the two methods of beekeeping. Explain the two methods of beekeeping. Three, mention the precautionary measures to be taken by a beekeeper when managing and harvesting honey. Mention the precautionary measures to be taken by a beekeeper when managing and harvesting honey. Four, list six importance of beekeeping. List six importance of beekeeping. I take it again. Define apiculture and list the types of bees you know. Two, explain the two methods of beekeeping. Three, Mention the precautionary measures to be taken by a beekeeper when managing and harvesting honey. And four, list six importance of beekeeping. For further reading, I want you to consult these references. One, Essential Agricultural Science for Senior Secondary Schools by Nwena. Essential Agricultural Science for Senior Secondary Schools by Nwena. 
Two, proscribe agricultural science for senior secondary school by S.O. Omori. Proscribe agricultural science for senior secondary school by S.O. Omori. My dear students, I still remain Mr. Thomas Peter. In case you want to submit your assignment, ask a question or any inquiry, contact me or WhatsApp using this number. 080-2950-9638. I take it again. 080-2950-9638. My dear listeners and students, I strongly believe you will venture into beekeeping to keep yourself employed and have a stable income. Thank you for your patience to listen.